Hi everybody, this, I think this is going to be my first video that features my voice. Um, if you don't know what I sound like, this is what I sound like. Um, yeah, so what you are seeing here is me drawing this scene from Squid Game. Yes, uh, sorry for those who haven't seen it, but if you haven't seen it at this point, then well, what are you really doing? Um, yes, this has a little bit of spoilers, since this is the scene from episode 6, where... Thank you. 
nature a lot to see what sort of colors that the light produces or how the shadows will look. Yeah, I have to readjust this guy because he's, you know, everything's a bit off a bit. So I have to readjust and then repaint. But overall, I think this piece is looking pretty good so far. Yeah, the squid game. You might have noticed that in the beginning I did like an underlayer of painting with the red, the light pink. I think that really helps add like, some life to the skin. It makes it you know, realize like, oh yeah, these people are still alive. That's the sort of intention I had going into this. Um, painting the Sevian's face was super difficult because there's so much detail in it. There's so much detail there. I, don't, I was struggling so hard, I had to redo the, the skin on the face. Um, I didn't know what color I should do, like the, the shadows on her face, so I was really struggling there. Um, the jacket, like I was struggling with the face, so I just wanted to do the jacket first. So you can see there, I'm blocking out the shadow shapes, seeing where they would fit in. And I'm trying to up the contrast a bit, so I'm using darker tones for the darker shadows. Can really tell. Um, originally, I wanted to sort of stylize it a bit more than it ended up being, but yeah, in the end, it looked much more close to the original in terms of like the rendering, the realism. Uh, I didn't really, I wasn't setting out to do that because this isn't this isn't my usual style, my drawing style. paint faces I like to add um, like blush something sort of reddish pink I like to add blush in areas like the cheeks the nose because you know, on regular faces that's where blood goes that's how you can tell that people have like, their faces are okay I feel like a lot of artists they will leave out that blush well they don't they don't really think about including it and so sometimes it'll leave their characters to look a little pale or a little bland, and the skin might look a little muddy as well. So the reason I've added some of that one more time is to give them a bit more life. As you can see, I'm adding some of the background colors on as like an edge light to sort of mask this character more into the, in the, in the environment. Yeah. Um, just doing some rendering now. This took much shorter than I had expected. Um, I guess when you're using a reference, you don't have to uh, like guess so much with what you want to draw. So I suppose that's why this drawing turned out to be much quicker than I had anticipated. This took me only like 40 minutes to paint, whereas normally well, a lot of my fan arts take around an hour to two hours to do just because yeah I have trouble like figuring out certain things like what sort of pattern or what sort of clothing I want or like what sort of pose the character should be in but this was pretty straightforward it's pretty simple they're like the poses they're in are very simple very basic there's not much detail for the background because I want intentionally left it like that um, for the character here, say Bjork. She looks alright, actually. Yeah, going in, zooming in, some more detail on the face. It was really hard to capture her expression. Yeah. When I was referencing the photo, it w it, yeah, it didn't turn out as like, she has like a very particular expression on her face that I couldn't capture uh, while painting this. And I was so like, I don't, like, I don't know how to describe it. I was like, bro, this is so hard. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, this is about nearing the end of my piece. And I'm just touching up all, a few little details. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of um, paint through, walk through, walk through of my painting. Yeah, and I hope, 
Well, if this does well, I might do another one of these, like a voiceover where I talk about my painting process. But yeah, if you enjoy this, give it a like, thumbs up, and I will see you maybe in the next video. Thanks for watching.